This one on the left is the old uh, Generation 1 Mark 8 throttle body, and this is the Generation 2 throttle body. What you'll notice is when the, when the throttle cable is pulled, it opens the right side primarily without opening the left side. So first you have about a quarter initiation here, and then it begins to open the second valve, and then it's full. And for some reason this was getting stuck open. One of these I believe was getting jammed open. On the Generation 2, you can see when the cable pulls, it pulls both throttle, it, it pulls both of the throttle flaps simultaneously. So there's no delay. For every for every two tubes you have one over here. So it's this is definitely an inferior design in my opinion. On generation one, the intake is in the back at the firewall. So if you're swapping in a generation one motor, you have to make extra room behind the motor to uh, to make room for this giant throttle body here in the rear. Whereas on generation one, the throttle body sits offset, much like the Mustangs. The only other thing that you'll need is a longer throttle cable. The Mustang cable connects to the back side of the Mustang intake. So you actually need to get, uh, I believe this one came from a V6. As you see, it's not, it's not the one that's intended to be here. It uses one much like the Mustang, that is just that little pin that inserts in there. So I may have to rig something up with this. There's a considerable amount of slack on this. Inside the circular ones, there were flaps inside of each of the uh, each of these tubes. And at a certain RPM, the computer would tell the, the vacuum line to kick in and open those up, allowing even more airflow. So at, uh, at lower speeds, it would give better fuel economy. And when you wanted some more performance, it would open up and give you that. So when we installed this, we removed all of those little flaps Generation 2, you'll notice there is no none of that mechanism. It's just a, just a straight spacer uh, for the lower intake manifold. And uh, the gasket is just a solid piece of I guess it's like metallic material. So it just snaps right on there and uh, it's ready to go. Nothing fancy. That's it.